Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. All right, y'all. All right. Today, I want to get into this Asian dog tweet, right? Um, And I want y'all opinion on it because maybe I'm tripping. I know a lot of y'all. Oh, you hate Asian dog? Nah. Um, Me and a few others, we just see through the bull crap. You know, um, I hate people that come with the facades. Um, manipulative people I hate that Because you got people that's You know Naturally just a little more weaker They don't vibrate on a high frequency So They believe any little thing that they see Alright I'm big on energy I'm big on um Just Actions instead of words You know being able to see right through people So With that being said I want to get into this Asian doll tweet where She pretty much said this She said quote How am I supposed to be loyal To someone who is no longer here explain all right now if i didn't know any better and you know i didn't know who asian doll was i didn't know the whole king von situation whatever the case may be if i heard that for the first time i would think that it was actually a clapback you know like some form of a diss uh some form of insult you know because those words come with so much bad energy and disrespect like Especially when you're referring to somebody that's not here, that's no longer here. All right. Now, that's something you say to like your ops. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's something you say about an op or something. Like, is, am I wrong? Let me know in the comments, man. Is that something you say to like an op or something? You see what I'm saying? Now, nothing just seemed positive at all about the uh, about that response. Um, some of y'all can say what y'all want, but it's things like this that just proves that Asian was only riding. The King Vaughn bandwagon for her own benefit, and as soon as the attention uh, ran dry, she moved on to the guy uh, Jack Boy, and now they are a thing, or whatever the case may be. All right, now their their little situation seem staged, you know, it don't seem organic at all, but that's a whole another story. So we going to get into all that, man. We going to get into this tweet. We going to discuss a few things. I want to know y'all opinions on a few things that we going to get into, and you know. So uh, before we do, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And I swear, I swear, I swear, I swear, it's lit here. So join one of the latest games on YouTube so you can stay updated with some of the realest content. Let's get straight into it. All right. Now, first and foremost, if you've been here on this channel from the beginning, you know that we've been saying Asians' intentions uh, seem a little suspect. Uh, they aren't pure. And she's just trying to benefit off of King Vaughn's death. Now, first off, before his passing, right? You know, he's he, he made it public. And he let it be known that he was a single man. And he was no way, nothing affiliated with um Asian Dog. But still, as soon as he died, she ran the social media to make it seem like she was so hurt. Um, She was, she was bothered. She was crying. All that. Despite doing songs and hanging around NBA Youngboy, who was Vaughn, you know, I wouldn't say op because in order to call somebody op, you got to have like real beef. I wouldn't say op because they don't come like from the same trenches or whatever. So we just going to say they had disagreements. They didn't like each other. They was at odds. All right. And if you remember, she was acting more dramatic than his own family members when he passed away. You see what I'm saying? So, with Asian Dog grieving, uh, making it seem like she's so bothered, they're moving on to Jack Boy. It's just a, it, it, it's a little suspect. Uh, all within a year, it hasn't even been a year yet. Um, you see what I'm saying? So that's the part that bothers me, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because it's okay for her to move on because we know she's not going to be single forever you know anybody that think that foolishness is, is, is like delusional you know a lot of guys uh they tend to think like perfect example when they go to jail for a couple years they expect their women to stay loyal through the whole bid and not have sex with any other man you know all that now some do but majority of the time the women don't and when it comes to that i feel it's to each his own because women have needs too and it's not fair to them that they have to deprive themselves of that because you did whatever you did to land yourself in jail. All right, but that's another topic. Now, I said all this to say this. 
Realistically, whether it's someone going to jail or death, women move on and life goes on, right? But in this case, it's not that, all right? It's not that Asian has moved on, but it's more so how she's moving on. All right, follow me. Now, Gala Hagen made a good point. She explained how most women who commented in Asian's defense said things like, why can't she move on? Vaughn had a baby on her. Vaughn was messing with other women. She could date whoever, uh, whoever she want to, all right? But what y'all not getting is this, right? By saying things like that, y'all are only proving our point as to what we're talking about with Asian, dog. We know her and Vaughn wasn't on good terms, and we know uh, he didn't want anything to do with her. But that's our point trying to express to y'all that all that crying and boohooing that agent is doing is cap. It's all a front. Just trying to use this man's image and benefit off getting sympathy for his death. All right? With all that uh, that was going on between them before he died, what makes you think her loyalty was anywhere near tied to him, period? All right? And as for the fans, a lot talk, a lot say this, a lot of y'all say that. But y'all be selective with y'all opinions because one minute y'all say, let her grieve, let her, let her grieve in peace. You can't tell her how to grieve. Uh, her and Vaughn was so much in love. She's so hurt. But the next minute y'all ready to slander King Vaughn and say, well, he had a baby on her. So it's okay if she moving on and dating and doing whatever she want. Which one is it? You got to pick a side. You can't be on the fence back and forth. But then again, I don't blame anybody but Asian for causing this type of confusion because this is what they do. You see what I'm saying? One minute they boohoo and crying, then they come out with videos, then they come out with songs, they get a whole bunch of plays, they go on talk shows, all that. It's no different than when an artist pass away and then next thing you know, a post, quote unquote, post album come out. We seen it with Pop Smoke recently, we seen it with Nipsey Hussle, we seen it with DMX. Death in the music industry is a big business. You see what I'm saying? And this is this situation is just no different, man. For one, with all the crying and carry on she did, it hasn't even been a full year and already her and Jack Boy is dating. Now, of course, you can't tell anybody how to grieve and how long it takes for them to grieve and whatever the case may be. However, I've personally seen women who are real widows, who lost their real men and they couldn't even think about messing with another man in, in, in a matter of months. They couldn't even think. You know why? Because when you have somebody you truly love taken away from you, just in the blink of an eye like that, and if it was actually real, their energy just don't leave you like that. It don't just leave you. The memories. Everything starts messing with you mentally, whether it's a song you hear, whether it's a smell you smell, whether it, it's a picture of something you see in the, in, in the house of y'all too. So you don't just go ahead and move on that quick. Now, some people do. It's very, very, very few, but it's the way. Once again, keep in mind, I'm not saying that she can't move on because people that think like that is delusional. She's not going to stay single forever. We know that. Uh, we know this. However, it's how you do it, it's what you say, it's how you carry yourself. You see what I'm saying? Now, judging from Asian Doll's actions, I could tell you firsthand that her motives are not and was not genuine. I don't care what nobody say. See, a lot of people get caught up in what a person say or go off of uh, emotions. You see what I'm saying? You might see her cry, you might feel sorry and all that, but listen, all of that crap is just good acting because if you sat back and paid no attention to what she was saying but instead judged her off her actions then you will realize that a lot of things that she did does not make sense it's fake crying over king vaughn one day but then the next day you making twitter posts about having another man and doing this and this and that it just don't make sense all of that is for clout for the blogs for the views for the sympathy streams all that People fail to realize that her and King Vaughn was even a couple prior to his passing. And I knew she wasn't pure when she involved herself with NBA Youngboy before he passed. All right. Once you start interacting with a man's ops or someone he isn't cool with, how can he trust you? You take it to like you take it to a whole nother level of disrespect when you do things like that. Y'all like perfect example, right? 
you know how it is in the hood when you and your girl y'all go through whatever y'all fight the cheating whatever right but once somebody call the cops on each other or you know your man is on parole or probation you call his parole officer or probation officer that's a deal breaker right there it's over you can't trust someone that gets so angry over whatever it is that they're willing to risk your freedom you see what i'm saying now, i don't know about anybody else because i've seen instances where guys and went to jail for their women caught dv charges and still go back with her I, I can't speak for those guys but i know for me personally that's a deal breaker now back to this grieving process right you can't tell me that you sad as a puppy one day crying your uh, your heart out over this man then the next day you just snap out of it and out of nowhere pop up with a new dude because y'all got to remember, y'all got to keep in mind this, man. When these celebrities pop up in relationships or whatever, it just didn't happen. It don't just happen out the blue like that. The thing is, we just now finding out, but all along, something been brewing behind the scenes that we just ain't know about. And it ain't no telling how long they've been talking behind the scenes neither. Nobody just pop up in a relationship together out the blue. It take a little time. You know, you got the talking phase, uh, the bull crapping phase, you know that. But unless it's like a secret motive, <laughs> it's an alternative motive involved, but that's a different story, right? Oh, and, and keep in mind, matter of fact, let's not forget the time she posted on Twitter about her quote unquote man, whoever this man was at that time, doing this and that that she caught flack about because fans was calling her out her own fans was calling her out about her crying over uh vaughn but hinting that there's a new man behind the scenes when she said something about oh he doing that he did this he i forgot what it was i gotta find the uh the post but if y'all know what i'm talking about comment in the comment section remind me real quick keep in mind also that was a few months after vaughn passed away so this whole thing when she talk about oh it's just a year it's, it's almost a year no she been talking about some new man or whatever new man it was rumors of her messing with a couple people and just judging from the twitter response period man it's clear that she wasn't genuine she said a lot without saying much if you know what i mean you see what i'm saying using that man's name for views streams going on talk shows uh they asking her about the whole king vaughn situation and she start crying come on man acting like she like she was really a thing with him before he passed i'm sure if this man was here he'll feel a way behind this man for real and people keep getting blinded by them old um instagram lives and them old youtube videos of them listen those are old and no one you know what's funny no one labeled her his widow or anything it's just as soon as he died she took it upon herself to go on his rampage like she's so hurt and you know meanwhile you had um um spiritual advisors such as shawnee freeman gala Hagen, shout out to them madam they all said that asian doll wasn't genuine and you know what's funny every medium every spiritual advisor or whatever psychic whatever you realm you want to put them in everyone that said they got in touch with king vaughn says the same thing about asian doll why is that why is that you think it's just a coincidence everybody saying the same thing she was acting more devastated than his own family members. His kid's mother ain't even react the same way uh, uh, she did as to losing a part of their family. Cause now their child, their child got to um, pretty much grow up without a father. She ain't got no ties to that man. Aside from a couple YouTube videos and Instagram lives, that's it. You see what I'm saying? So she went hard on Instagram live and, 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 and YouTube saying how she missed him. She is. Oh, she's so devastated. She's crying her eyes out, right? Going to talk shows and all that. All for her to say something like, how am I supposed to be loyal to someone who is no longer here? Explain. How do you say something like that, man? Somebody tell me if I'm bugging. Let me, let me know if maybe I'm overreacting because to me, that just sounds disrespectful. She could have totally said that in a different manner right whether she meant it like that or not she could have said it a different way and this is why our other friends that was also close to king vaughn responded online as well i'm not just the only one that feel like this but one thing i also realized in this music industry y'all um y'all gotta understand that it's a pattern 
in the music industry, especially when it comes to women. You know, with a female artist, especially a rapper, when they first come out and they not buzzing like that, somehow the industry links them to like already established, well-known rappers and then boom, they got a career or, or, or you know about them somehow, some way. And there goes that buzz. Look, perfect example. G Herbo, baby mother, Ari. What is she famous for, bro? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? What is she famous for? It's almost like these women are leeches. They suck these artists drive their energy, their fame, their status, their clout. Another perfect example, sweetie. Look what she did with Quavo, right? The industry knows how fans love the whole artist couple thing, and that's what they do. So even if the music isn't good, they make it seem like these, these artists are couple goals. They're, they're couple goals or whatever the case may be. And usually, you know, it's funny, in less than a year, that same couple you thought was goals, they they they, they end up breaking up with each other. Lil, uh, Lil Durk did that with Dej Loaf. You see what I'm saying? He was cool. Don't get me wrong. He was cool. But y'all got to admit, his career went to a different plateau after that relationship with Dej Loaf. And look, you don't even see Dej Loaf no more. And this is what's going on with Asian Doll, man. Nobody checks for Asian Doll. Who, who's booking Asian Doll? Let's be real. She uses other rappers to stay relevant. She takes their energy or, or their platform, their audience to stay relevant. Before King Vaughn, guess what she was doing? YouTube vlogs. She was rapping, yes. Don't get me wrong. She was rapping, but her music is just, is just not it. He passed away, then boom, you start seeing her in all type of blogs. So like I said, man, it's just y'all just gotta pay attention to the things that's out there. Of course, they're gonna make it seem like if you go against unpop, I mean a popular opinion, that you're wrong all the time. It's like society makes you not have a voice. Society makes it like you can't think for yourself. Matter of fact, another question here, right? Because I find this very strange. Little dirt. An Asian dog. You don't ever see these two together you don't hear them communicate you don't see a thing from these two but meanwhile these are the same two that actually um um i'm trying to trip i'm, I'm trying to think of so much right now um lil dirk is the one that introduced asian to king vaughn right why you don't never hear nothing about these two together ever you see what i'm saying like my thing is this, if King Von's supposed to be his best friend and she's supposed to be his soulmate or whatever, you know, widow, whatever you want to call it, why are they never together? You see what I'm saying? Why have a little Dirk and Asian came together for anything publicly? I know if something happened to, uh, to me, my best friend, he gonna come in contact with anyone I'm dealing with. Like as far as relationship wise, to make sure, you know, you good, Make sure this and this and that. Why these guys never, ever, ever come together? You don't see no lives. You don't see no public meetups. No nothing. It's a question you got to ask yourself, man. Like I said, as far as this um Asian doll thing, it's kind of sad. It's unfortunate to see how King Vaughn's legacy is going. Because now, whenever, even when you search up King Vaughn, she comes up too. How crazy is that? You see what I'm saying? So it is what it is, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this tweet. To me, it's insensitive. It sound cold. Like it don't it don't sound like somebody that's that lost somebody. I don't know, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comments. Uh make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as y'all keep on watching, I'm gonna keep on dropping. And I'm out.